Well, me, have you ever visited someone's home without an invitation? Uh, I think um, in the pen is uh, when you um, uh, go to uh, take some food or, or some things to give to someone's yeah, friends mm -hmm. um, yes. family. Yes. yes. I think and is it normal? For example, in Vietnam, it's normal to visit someone's house without invitation. Mm, uh, not really. I think not really. Uh, when you need to give some something, yeah, you can uh, go over and and give some thing yeah. or food. Yeah, I think. Yeah, of course, of course. And have you ever? Uh, yeah. Party. You 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 have to uh, practice. You have to uh, I think, uh, uh, invite. Yeah, yeah of course. We, we can. Yeah. yeah, of course. So you need to invite someone for party. So if you actually if you are having a party, it's not good. For example, that someone actually join your party without the invitation. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, of course, get it. Okay, have you ever ridden a bike on the sidewalk? And is it normal? For example, is it okay to ride a bike on the sidewalk? Mm, I think yeah, in Vietnam, yes. <laughs> no, but I, I, I'm, uh, I'm not by on the sidewalk, but uh, many people. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, so we well. do this. Okay, so it's normal. And uh, is it normal to call the teacher by his or her first name? No, oh, we just say teacher. Yeah. Call first name. <laughs> because I have <laughs> a student, who, you know, because I have a student who calls me in my first name and uh, you know she says Monica and I don't know if it's normal or not because in my country it's not normal it's not common <laughs> but I don't yeah. know if, you know if it's normal say okay why why are you calling me Monica <laughs> I'm a teacher <laughs> yeah in, in, in US we don't we don't call of course. the first yeah we right. don't no we, we don't we just do say it. teacher right of course call teacher. For, for example you can say miss for example miss uh, Anderson yes. Or teacher, you know, normally we actually call teacher uh, in last name and Miss or Mrs. Okay, so Mrs. or Miss Anderson, something like this. But that was really interesting to me because my students and, uh, you know, uh, I think she's uh, maybe 10 years younger than me. Mm -hmm. And you <laughs> imagine. And she calls yeah, me. Monica. She don't know. She don't know. She <laughs> of course. Just <laughs> honey, <laughs> honey, honey, we are friends, but <laughs> it's not bad to call me, <laughs> Miss. Okay, well, and uh, is it normal to take leftover food uh, from restaurant? Leftovers. Leftover food. Yeah, leftover. For example, when you go to restaurant, of course, you know, maybe a part of your food can be remade so you can uh, take it to home. Is it normal? Is it OK? Or no, it's not good manner. I think it's OK. In the, in, mm -hmm. You can take uh, food over from, um, from the restaurant. From a restaurant. The restaurant. Well, and uh, another one, you are waiting, of course, in line for something, and someone cuts in line. Yeah, I really, I really had had that. Of course. I yes, feel angry. Yeah, I feel of angry course. when someone cut the line. Yeah, you're right to get angry. It's normal. And uh, is it? Uh, so let me ask another question. Have you ever arrived late for a party? I think no, I I don't I don't like uh, to be mm -hmm. late uh, at 
uh, yeah. party or celebrate. And tell me, you know, can be considered as maybe a disrespectful, uh, you know, some, I don't know, behavior or manner if you arrive late for a party? Is the, um, I think yeah, no. though on time is the, we we respect um, the, the 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 house the house um. <laughs> yeah it can be you know something like uh, disrespect to host. Yeah, of course, of course. And how about using cell phone in a restaurant? Of course, we see some people all around the world, some people who use their cell phones in the restaurant and we, they talk on the phone loudly, loud voice. So what do you think? And tell me, is it acceptable in Vietnam or no, it's not? And you think that, you know, it's really rude and maybe Unacceptable. I think it's, uh, it's acceptable. Sometimes acceptable. We, we have a shop, shop, uh, shop, how Hong Kong shop. Yeah, so it, yeah, so it's acceptable. Sharply, I think. Yeah, okay, get it. And another one, ha, huh, uh, have you ever put your feet on the seat on a bus or train? Sorry. Put your feet on the seat on a bus or train. Oh, no. Or have you ever <laughs> seen someone? Have you ever seen someone who put yeah. I don't know, another feet on the seat? Yeah, I see someone put uh, their fist on the seat. Yeah, it's some uh, bad, bad, I think it's bad. Of course, it's something like annoying, yeah. And how about eating food while walking on the street? In Vietnam, uh, I think it's uh, normal. I think it's normal. Some people go to work and they eat uh, on a walking, by uh, walking on the, the yeah, trip. Yeah, of course. So it's normal. Okay. Especially uh, in the um, um, night market. Yeah, they, they eat food on the chest. It's, it's normal. Yeah, so it's in, normal. In night market. Mm -hmm. They shell uh, food, clothes. Okay. Yeah, of course. And uh, let me ask you another question. So let me ask you about uh, some unacceptable manners in Vietnam. So something that you think, yeah, this behavior, this manner is really bad. Is there anything? So manner, the way you behave. This manner. So in Vietnam, I think um, um, you don't take your shoe uh, at the outside uh, when you go to um, someone's house. Take, uh -uh. take the shoe uh, left behind. Yeah, yeah, got it. So you need to take your shoes take off. off. Yeah, take off your shoes outside the house. Outside. Yeah. Yeah, got it. Out of the house. Yeah. Oh, got it. So, patrol. Thank you. So, <laughs> in the future, if I travel to Vietnam, <laughs> I remember I, I, you shouldn't yeah. don't take do off this. Your shoe. Yeah. yeah. Don't go, you know, sometimes, of course, it's normal to walk by shoes in the house, but I remember in Vietnam, <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, well, 
let's talk about some uh, costumes, some costumes or traditions, okay? So do you have any special costume or tradition? Traditions. Special that you normally do, for example, Let's talk about uh, some uh, costumes or traditions about maybe visiting someone's house. Do you take something like flower or chocolate or something like this when you want to uh, visit someone's house or no? Mm, I think when um, when visit some uh, visit some uh, visit. Uh, Friends, um, something friends. How I think, um, we buy some fruit, yeah, or some cake, yeah, mm -hmm. things like that. Yeah, so very good. Cake, yeah. Okay, so when someone, uh, you have a new neighbor. OK, someone uh, just moved to your neighborhood and you want to greet them. How? How you greet them? Um, <laughs> I think in Vietnam, we, we don't do that. <laughs> yeah, ah, <laughs> you just you say don't. hi and um, talk some, uh, introduce something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just say hi. Yeah, yeah. so. <laughs> yeah, and for example, is there any special food that you normally cook when inviting someone? You know, you say that this is our special food and cuisine. So do you have something like this? I think, um, I think when someone do this, Many, many dishes. <laughs> many dishes. Yeah, different dishes. So. Uh, 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 chicken, uh, grilled chicken, uh, or chicken. Yeah. With noodle. Yeah. Spring roll. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. So, custom means tradition. Okay, well, respect. Okay, of course, being respectful is really important all around the world. And now, tell me about some, maybe, the ways that you respect elderly, old people, maybe mother, father, grandparents, how you respect when you go to grandparents, um, parents, or some uh, someone older, then um, you you have to say hi. And when you go, to, when you 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 left, you um, you uh, you have to uh, say bye bye or something. Yeah, <laughs> just bye. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, so it's something like uh, you don't need to bow someone like this photo. You know, this to bow. Mm -hmm. You don't need to bow like respect, no? Uh, if, if we if we younger, we have to bow, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, so it depends. How old you are? Yeah, yeah, depends. Yeah. yeah, it depends how old you are. Okay. And host, we're not going to talk about this word because you know. Okay. Guest, da, tell me, uh, have you ever had a guest <laughs> who was really annoying and you said, Oh, please, please go, you know, let's finish this party. You have you ever had a guest really annoying, really, I don't know, unnerve? Yes, some <laughs> young, some young, yes. 
and then they don't know um and they don't know what uh, they do <laughs> yeah of course yeah yeah, yeah, children. yeah i think children yeah they're really different of course especially their manners are really different from us so we can't understand what do actually what do they want to do so yeah i do agree with you maybe and uh, so we have some words here manners custom respect host or actually hostess you know if the host is woman we say hostess and yes okay well i don't want you to make lots of sentences just can you think about maybe one or two lines using these words just try to make a story like In Vietnam, we have many manners and custom to respect, yeah, to, to respect, host yes, or honor, uh, honor, um, yeah, person, yeah, uh, yeah, grandpa grandparents or uh, parents. Yeah, to respect elderly, you know, so, or you can you can say to respect. So in Vietnam, we have some manners and customs to respect host or hostess as guests. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we could use it in, you know, only one yeah, as a whole. <laughs> OK, well. Uh, let's talk about uh, would you ever? Okay, as you know, do you remember anything about have you ever? We say, for example, would you ever or have you ever? When we say have you ever, you ever done have you ever visited have you ever so when we use have you and ever we ask we ask about uh past experiences or past actions okay but when we say would you ever actually we use this question to ask about future actions okay so would you ever it means you do it OK, would you ever visit someone's home without an invitation? As I told you, would you ever ride a bike on the sidewalk? If you say, have you ever, you need to change the verb to past participle. Have you ever visited or have you ever written? So past participle. But with would, we need to use base form. Would you ever visit? It means, do you do this? OK, something like future actions or would you call your teacher by his or her first name? You say, yes, I would. No, I wouldn't. Or it depends. So no, in Vietnam, we wouldn't. We wouldn't, for example, visit someone's home without an invitation. Invitation or yes, we would. Or you say it depends. It depends. So you can answer. We talked about this question, so I'm not going to ask them again. Uh, of course, would you? I ask you uh, this question in past form. So let me ask you in present and uh, future action using with you. Would you ever uh, use your cell phone in a restaurant? Mm, this depends on uh, uh, a calling. Con from calling. Depends yeah. on the person. Depends person. on the person who calls me, who or who's calling me. So it depends on the person who's calling. Yeah. Okay. And uh, would you ever put your feet on the seat on a bus or a train? No, I haven't. <laughs> no, I would you? Would no, no, you? I wouldn't. No, I, no I wouldn't, of course. We so say when I ask, you know, just there is a actually tip. Let me give you a tip. 
when I ask you questions, when I make a question using auxiliaries, modal verbs, okay, am, is, are, be, or modal verbs, can, could, may, should, will, would, okay, you need, or auxiliaries, do, does, did, you need to use, you need to make your answers, your short answer using this, using the same modal or auxiliary or be okay so using the same would you yes i would no i wouldn't could you yes i could no i couldn't did you yes i did no i didn't so it's something like clue you know you have a clue you need to use the same word in your answer well and now okay uh we talked about uh your customs for visiting someone's house now Let's listen this audio. OK, just give me a moment to find this. Well. OK, page. Well. Let me check. Page 34. It's not. Page 49. It's not. Page 60. Page 55. Page 55. Page 53. Activity 2. Part B. Listen again. How do people celebrate each holiday? Oh, check the things they do. 50. Turkey. Uh oh. New Year's it's Day. Not. Okay, okay. So uh, tell me. Page 55. Swanis. Lesson 12B. Good manners. I think. Activity 2. Part A. Let me check. Listen. What are the customs for visiting someone's home? First, Check the things Jean-Pierre says about France. So, Jean-Pierre, is this your first visit to the United States? Yes, it is. It's all a bit uh, confusing. You know, some friends invited me to their home for dinner next week. What should I take uh, as a gift? Oh, well, it's probably best to take some flowers. Or maybe a small gift, like something typical from your country. Yes. Well, in France, flowers are a good idea, too, or uh, a box of chocolates. And in France, it's polite to arrive a little early. Is it the same here? Well, in the U.S., we don't arrive exactly on time. But you should arrive no more than 15 minutes late. If you're going to be later than that, you really should call so they don't think you've gotten lost or forgotten to come. I wouldn't want that. No. Now, in France, how do you greet your host or hostess when you arrive? Well, when you get there, it's normal to kiss your hostess on both cheeks. If you're a man, you shake hands with the host. Well, you don't kiss him. Okay. Well, here we sometimes kiss our hostess on one cheek, not both. Generally, we don't kiss our host. It kind of depends on how well you know your host and hostess. Oh, another thing. In France, you shake hands with all the other guests. If you don't, it's not polite. What about here? Well, here, it's usually okay just to say hello. Oh, it's also important to look people in the eye when you talk to them. People may think you're unfriendly if you don't. And use their first names. In the past... People were formal, too, in France. Uh, they didn't use first names. Now, we generally use first names, too. You know, if someone is close enough to you and, you know, you've met them before. You've well, okay. Well. Okay. Do people take flowers or chocolates as a gift in France? Mm, yes. 
Okay. Okay. Do they arrive a little early or late? No, or a little late. A little late. Okay. How do they greet a host or hostess? Hi, it's okay. So we need to skip this part because okay. So we need to listen this listen this audio track again. Uh, okay, let me uh, skip this part for the next session because we need to listen and do this part together again. Okay, well, me. Any questions? Any issues so far? Okay, great. Well. OK, just don't forget about starting something that we learned and the next session we will be uh, we'll keep going with this, the rest of this unit. OK, my dear me, have a great and brilliant night. Sweet Thank dreams. You. <laughs> and see you next session. Yeah, see you next time. Bye bye. Thank teacher. you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.